I'm sitting here in my car, um, just about to drive down to Chris's house uh, to have a meeting with Chris and Billy. Um, I'm not feeling particularly good about this. <laughs> we love you. We love you very much. Well, actually, I was really lucky. I've got four gigabyte ones on eBay for something like one ninety nine, and then they sent two through by mistake. <laughs> about 20 miles from Chris's and I'm starting to feel worried, sick, kind of. I'm really not sure how it's going to go today. I really want this to work. Um, do you think most people are going, I don't care what's happened about in, in the past. This isn't here, this is now. This is about the, the next year at least. Mm. Yeah, as long as it can carry on for. Just shut up and get on with it. And yeah. It. Do you feel that from the rest of you? Yes, I do, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I think so. I think that's, that's what the pressure I'm getting. Yeah, yeah. Um, I th I, no, no, definitely, you know, and uh, there's not much point otherwise. You don't want to bring any axes to grind. I'm certainly not, anyway. Because uh, uh, what's the point? It would just, could, it could be awful, that. And, and, and I wouldn't do it if I thought there was, and it doesn't feel that there is. I would love it to work. And it's now down to at what cost. And I'm not talking financially, I'm talking emotionally. Came over for the tour, it's been awesome. I've just heard that uh, we've sold out uh, Hammersmith, which is fantastic, it's phenomenal. Uh, the, the response that we've had has been, uh, has been kind of overwhelming, really. Uh, it's just great to know that there's a, there's a lot of people out there who who really want to um, to hear this again, which is which is fantastic. Uh, there's a lot of emails flying around between us all at this moment in time. We still haven't we still haven't all sat in a, in a room together. Uh, we haven't played a note. Uh, Warren's still over in Los Angeles, uh, dodging dodging forest fires as we speak. Uh, Billy's about to take uh, delivery of his all his new equipment, all these new bits and pieces, uh, which he's going to be playing with. Um, uh, Chris has tried to get his head around the <laughs> new technology. Uh, I'm glad it's him and not me. Um, so it's all kind of it's all kind of shaping up. <laughs> this is January, so we've got less than three months to pull the whole thing together and um, we're still talking about crew personnel uh, we're talking about lighting staging uh, trucking catering crew hotels you know all of that stuff and that's just for the one tour so we're doing pretty well actually we haven't killed each other hmm. uh, I didn't actually have uh, contact for uh, Chris Cross or Warren but I, uh, uh, but I knew Midge's email address and I was thinking you know shall I get in touch with the other guys so but I mean there's pride isn't there the other thing of course when, when you're in a band is that you know people pretty well and so you know you know there's none of Ultravox that I dislike as people you know they've all got absolutely there's, there's bits about them that are real gems the bits that you get fed up with are the toothpaste lids being left off, the people moaning about this. You know, the, it's the real petty stuff, like every 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 house. Well, after all of that worry, anxiety, mad phone calls, mad emails, um, this is it. First day of rehearsals. First time we'll all be in the same room for. Oh, 23 years. How scary is that? Um, it should be good. I'm getting great faith. I think it's all going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, I just hope we make the same kind of noise we used to make. In fact, I hope we make it better. I'm sure we will. I hate rehearsals. But this one should be hopefully a bit different for the first few hours. Oh, let's face it, we can't put a bleeding stain up with instructions. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Hey, that's a good voice. Fucking hell. I love it. Alright. Yeah. Look how you feel. I am not dead. <laughs> 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 oh, you missed him? Where's this finish? Oh, come and get the drum to that. Come and see him. No worries. In there. What's the date today? It's the 2nd of March. Is it the 2nd already? Oh, it is the 2nd already. Spring is here. <laughs> Spring has sprung. So what's happened today then? Uh, d d well, this is, the, um, this is home here for the next uh, five weeks, I think it is. Uh, rehearsal start today. Um, Warren has arrived. Um, he flew in yesterday from Los Angeles and uh, he's in there unpacking great big cardboard boxes of his brand new drum kit in there. Um, it's good, it's really nice to see him actually, it's really funny. I mean, what, what we were all kind of dreading, you know, that meeting, the first time in 23 years, um, it could have been really horribly awkward and it wasn't, it was actually very pleasant. It was really nice to see him, we've been catching up on, on old times because we've, we've led um, you know, uh, kind of secret lives from each other over the last uh, uh, period. So just catching up on what's going on. We haven't played a note yet, <laughs> which is probably just as well. That's good. Not bad. It's all right. Just save that. <laughs> <laughs> so these came from Yamaha? Yeah. Or through Yamaha? Yeah. Do you Bobby, think it'd Bobby. be a problem getting another one? Because I need to put the MacBook and the MIDI faders box on something. I think I've got spare. <laughs> oh, the bike was piano. That's nice. That's lovely. Pictures like you said, you're not going to see this very often. Yeah. All I have to do is repeat this another 30 times. Well, I'm, I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible. And so, if this this has got a map for Minimon and stuff. The only thing is I haven't found the easy... I did find it once, but I couldn't find it since, the thing to do the octave switching. Right. And I, I want to find a way how I can program the octave switching on this so that it's just... you just get the three things. Yeah, we've got a full... Well, I went for this, cos it's... Oh, right, OK. Yeah, as opposed to, like, five octaves. But that's, that's not it. Looking right. Maybe it is. It's upside down. That's a beret. What's it meant to be? <laughs> it's meant to be drum pad. It's a cymbal it's, pad. Yeah, it looks like a cymbal. Wrong. Uh huh. It 
Sparrow's Town. Yeah, you get ones you like. I used yeah, to like Royal I mean, Sparrow's Town. He used to get me to do that <laughs> right from across a room with him, you know. Uh, it's good for your legs, but it's a bit sort of tedious. <laughs> you feel powerful now. Now you've got the camera. Yeah. That's right, you're, you're, feeling, you're feeling good. It's capturing your soul. Yeah. And with service to your children. Mm. I think I'll sell these computers to my children. <laughs> they do much more good than they're doing here. <laughs> selects which face to focus on and stuff like that. Ah, it does multiple faces, it's very clever. Yeah. Hi, I'm Bill. We're here from Chicago to see Ultra Bucks at the Apollo. Three wise men over there, right? All in the waiting room. <laughs> <laughs> We're out for an extraction. 
Bill for a prostrate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just extracted a lot of money out of your pocket there, all those suits. Well, we sent Bill for a prostrate yeah. examination, and he's going to do the rest of us. There's no time to be playing a Nintendo. I'll get that. Let's go, cool, yeah. Share the pixels and stuff, so we get a bit of like that. Yeah.
uh, it's 20 minutes to 7 on Friday night, the 10th of April 2009. They open the night the Ultravox tour. Um, oh, we're on stage in about an hour and a half, something like that. Uh, it's quite um, scary, fun. Who would have thought that uh, six months ago we'd be sitting here doing this? It's quite incredible. Oh not, yeah. Not necessarily full on metal pickers, not not duck bill clown shoes, are they? No, that's right. No, they've been popular for quite a while. You all set one? I'm very Get me shooting. I'm never going to be this shiny ever again. Did you mention the video camera on the set? No, no, I've got. How long can you record for? Not very long. What, men have to go through, eh? I'd settle for a period any time, wouldn't you? Not true. <laughs> no. <laughs> One of my claims to fame is that I bored them out, <laughs> bored them away from the house. <laughs> no, I just said, oh, oh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to go now. And we're going, oh, another thing. Da, 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 da. <laughs> really oh, no, don't be on. That's what it's like. <laughs> oh, man. That'd be amazing if Peter turned up in one of those. I made a joke Hi guys. last last night and said, nice uh, to see you. Oh, "Is it okay if Good I come with back. you?" <laughs> Meet him. Well, yeah, I've travelled all the way from Seattle in the state of Washington in the U.S. for this, and I'm hoping they play Vienna and dancing with tears in my eyes and lament and. Um, oh, I'm so excited! I can't think of anymore. <laughs> what was that? Working. It wasn't working. No, I've tried all my little. Quick fixes. Let's do a quick restart and it nearly worked. But it's working now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is my tester. Huh? If I don't see that move, I should be. You're in trouble. Yeah. I know something's up. Next test, this one. Crosky 001. C'est moi? Oh, you don't see it there. Go back to that. There it is. Just like me, disappears. <laughs> disappears in the drop of a hat. <laughs> and then I've got these ones. And this one does. <laughs> it's just like Christmas, really. It is. I've got no idea. I don't know what half of those things do. And uh, so I had to use the panic pump. Yeah. Fire! <laughs> Fire! Yeah, but so cool. The <laughs> coolness is definitely a good seller. Yeah, it's something we'll learn after 20 years. I love it because I don't get any phone calls. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> but they will give me grief about it. <laughs> in fact, there was a bloke in the paper the other day that said, um, bloke gets mugged and the muggers gave him his phone back because it was crap. <laughs> I said, look, it's a man, I'm an art there. What happened the first night? What was your feelings? Well, it was the first night at Edinburgh, wasn't it? It, oh, it just went by in a, a massive blur, really. Um, but what was odd was, because it was that's the first time I've played in, like, in front of people effectively for 23 years or whatever long it is. But once we started, it was just like it just felt like yesterday. 
from his um, but it was, it was effortless compared with how uh, angst ridden it used to be in the old days. <coughs> it's just so much better than I thought it was going to be. But, uh, Did you speak the night before? Did you, I mean, were you worried about that? Excited? No. No, funny. It's, I think. I think we did enough rehearsal and enough prep work that it um, and everyone that we had, that we got around working around us, it's almost like an insurance uh, insurance policy that it, it, it would be all right. And also, I knew that we, we always managed to get through stuff even if we went completely wrong before. So it's it's like all the positive bits about what we've ever done all sort of came together. Just at the, at the right time, and it, it just felt like it was clockwork to some extent. But then you got the, the 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 thing that was different was the audiences. The audiences are, are, are they are it's like it's like their mates that you haven't seen for a long time. It's it's, it's, it's just it's been absolutely gobsmacking, really. But, uh, I couldn't have guessed what it was going to be like. I like Newcastle. What you like leaving it? No, I like it. Got a lot to go going for, I think, now. Got a big ass done. There's a really big Tesco's over there. <coughs> I like that. I do like that gallery. But the, the, the big green store one. I, I can't remember who did the thing on the stairs. It's really good. What the ambient industrial noises? Yeah. We haven't been waiting for 25 years, but it was absolutely great. It happened. It's an emotional trip. It's uh, closing circles, okay, and we feel like uh, adolescents again, and it's fantastic. Have so, uh, <laughs> you travelled over specially for this? Have you come specially for the concert? Yes, yes, yes. yes. yes, yes. Good. Sorry. You enjoyed it? Enjoyed it. I think I'm going to have a Welcome to Britain. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm Chris, I've travelled from Tokyo to be here at Hammersmith Friday and I'm really looking forward to it. And it's really great to hear the voice there. So please. Do it well. because I forget that I'm playing <laughs> and it's, I, start, I will start looking around and it, um, you can, it, for some reason I, it, I can see people just like, so much better than before and then I'll start looking around on the stage and then I start looking and get interested and then it's like, oh fucking hell, I'm supposed to be playing something as well and I, sometimes I just forget where I am for a second. Is that part of you thinks, we should have done this earlier? Nah, not really. It, I, I don't know, 
I mean, I think we, it, we could have probably done five years or something like that, but certainly not, you know, like, you know ten years ago or something like that. I think, the, I think the distance works better for us. I think we, you know, we're, you know, we're, I think we'd have been, I don't know, I think we're just more grown up, more sensible, got bigger, the bigger picture is much easier to see, um, and we, we have a sort of wisdom, I think, that um, you can only really get with time. Uh, it's just, it just needs time to develop, you know. Well, it's a long way from Antarctica, but to be honest, uh, New York uh, City, just outside New York, uh, came a long way to see everybody. Uh, the guys have been uh, inspirational to me and uh, have meant a lot to me over the years. Uh, it's just an amazing experience being here in London and uh, coming to see my heroes. And uh, I love you guys and thank you for everything. Thank you for the music. Is that the idea then behind where you are at the moment then? If, if you can, this isn't the end. This isn't the end this year. You can possibly see further. I think that's that's what I think will happen. Is we, it's, you know, what I was saying to you when, when we did the interviews before, and I said that you know the whole thing could finish tomorrow, and it might not. That's that's exactly what it, it still feels like. That you know, I like that. I like the idea that there's no um, no formula really, and it, it just gives you that that freedom that if you know, come up with a good idea and then something like that, and if we don't. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and I'll just give you one last question because I know we've got time issues. Uh, mayonnaise, sandwiches, explain. What happens? Any more, <laughs> any more problem with that? Let's move on to roulade now. <laughs> one, how's it going? It's going great. What's the best part? Uh, hard to say at this point. Uh, new toys? Yeah, new toys. Um, what's the worst part? Uh, there isn't one. So far? So far. Anything to say to the people that come to see you? Uh, hope you have a good time. Uh, hope you have as good a time as we're going to have. <laughs> so, Mitch, any surprises? Surprises, yeah, but we're, we're, we're actually quite good. That's a bit of a surprise. It's been, a, it's been fun, actually, so far. Yeah. Any, any shocks? Any shocks? Uh, I think learning all the new technology, that's been a long, slow learning curve, you know. The last time we went out with a huge sea of equipment, so trying to make it sensible and practical is went out the window. So we've just gone for a smaller version of what we used to have, but equally head-messing. Any messages for friends and family? Friends and family? Um, if there any family out there that I don't know of, don't come and say hello. Um, uh, friends, absolutely. Uh, it, it, it's exciting, you know, the, the guest list seems to be bigger than the uh, amount of people paying to come and see us. So that's always interesting. Any new guitars? No, no, I've missed out on that one so far. But the tour's not started yet, or should I say it hasn't finished yet. So who knows what's going to happen when I'm out and about. So Chris? Yes, or, man. Or is it John Lennon? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> How's it going? It's going absolutely fantastic. It's, it's actually been really exciting and it just much more so than I could have imagined. Were you looking forward to it or were you kind of dreading this? It's not dreading it, but there was apprehension about you know trying to get everything working, whether we're going to stay with exactly what we used to do, um, the, the same old arguments about what songs we're going to do and stuff. So over the years, I've been saying, you know, getting a band back together is a bit like, you know, potentially remarrying your ex. Is it like remarrying your ex? It, 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 exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the, actually, I've got to say, the good bits are so much better than I thought they were going to be. It's been, uh, it, it's been fantastic. And what's the biggest surprise out of doing all of this so far? How, how quickly things come back. Um, I know the rest of you are not going to notice it, <laughs> but um, no, it, it's that sort of that muscle memory where you're doing something and all of a sudden your fingers do something that you, you didn't even think about, and it's just it's like being on automatic pilot. And it, it's just fantastic. It's like a bit like time travel, <laughs> without the fun. Without no, no, with the fun. Yeah. Belly. Yep. How do your kids feel about you doing this? Uh, my son's sort of excited about it. All of a sudden, I, I am somebody. He realises I actually am a musician now, <laughs> instead of messing about. And but he, he's um, 
He wants to make absolutely sure that I'm not going to embarrass him. Uh, will you? Yeah, I probably will. <laughs> <laughs> but I won't mean to. What have you enjoyed? Uh, sorry, say, my daughter is. Uh, yes, yeah, she's. she's uh, she keeps a bit of a distance. She's older, but I think she's well up for it. You know, she likes. She's well into music. And of course, she's quite up for the idea of going to the Isle of Wight Festival, isn't she? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Because she can get in for nothing, yeah. <laughs> Purely selfish. But she doesn't want to see you, though, does she? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of that band? Pendulum or something? The pendulum. Yeah. Pendulum, yeah. I thought it was the folk band, you know. I used to be into them. The double album, you know. Pentangle. Yeah, well, well, yeah. Pentangle, that's it, yeah. <laughs> What's been the most surprising thing about doing this again? Well, uh, it's surprising that... Uh, the pieces of the band are back together and it's a band, <laughs> which is pretty weird. As a bunch of people, as a bunch of musicians, it's quite weird after so many years. And it works, so that's that's pretty mind-blowing. What's the worst part about doing this? Uh, getting here on time.